Just before us, West Coasters wrap it up for the night. Marvel surprised us with a brand new trailer for the Marvels. I'm going to take a look at this one next. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's the outlaw John Roca. Well, I guess there's no rest for the weary today. This morning I dropped a Barbie review, then headed on off to Comic-Con for a few hours, ran back home to host the hot mic, and then I was watching some episodes from season three of Only Murders in the Building. Yes, I got them early to prepare a review for that, and then bang, Marvel Studios and Disney dropped a brand new trailer for the Marvel. So now I'm here in the office recording this trailer reaction, excited to see what we're going to get here. We're going to get more of the story, and we're going to get a little bit more of understanding why they're switching switching places when they use their powers. What's that all about? And are we going to get a little bit more with the villain of the piece, Dar Ben? Are we going to see more from her in this, uh, played by Zawe Ashton, who is a fantastic actress, also uh, Tom Hiddleston's fiance. So she's got a little bit of an inside track on how to play a Marvel villain. So very curious to see what we're going to get here in this trailer. Are we getting more Brie Larson as well? Because remember that last trailer? Not a lot of Brie Larson. So I'm wondering if maybe they felt, let's focus on Amon Villani and uh, Tiana Paris in the first trailer, so we can really establish them for people that maybe didn't see WandaVision or didn't see Ms. Marvel, and then we'll uh, bring Brie Larson back for this trailer. So, just a lot of questions here before we dive into it. And without uh, wasting any more time, because it's late at night, let's get into it now. This new official trailer for the Marvels. Carol Danvers, prodigal child of the Milky Way. <laughs> Nick Fury. My favorite one-eyed man of intrigue. How goes it out there? I don't oh. know. Cold. Oh. No air. Space. Oh, wow. Yeah, that shot. Captain Marvel. The Annihilator. Oh, there she is. You took everything from me. And now I'm returning the favor. Whoa! Oh! Oh! What is happening to me? Oh, you're in the intergalactic. intergalactic. These people are tangled. Our light-based powers, so we switch places whenever we use them. Oh! You can absorb light. I can see it. And Kamala, who's Kamala? Hi. She can turn light into physical matter, which I have never heard of. I could totally show you. No! Oh! Targeting every planet we call home. Oh. I would never choose to bring anybody into this. You are not the only thing standing between this and the universe. Like a word team. Oh. Higher. Further. Faster. Oh! Who's a good kitty, Gus? Oh <laughs> I can't. Can you? I got it. All right, there you go. So, yeah, really cool stuff. Got a little bit more of the story here. Finding out that uh, Darben is uh, upset because Captain Marvel took everything from her. So how is that connected? She's Kree. So what did Captain Marvel do? Is there something from the past? Is there something that she did in the last uh, Captain Marvel movie that's kind of caused her to lose everything? Uh, so that's why she's angry. This so We're hearing that she's going after every home planet of the people involved. So what what uh, is that all about here in this? And also the switching of the light powers. Now we get a little bit of an understanding of what's going on there. That she's, uh, Darben has fixed it so that every time they use their powers, they switch places which keeps them, you know, um, unsettled. It keeps them off uh, off balance so that she can keep doing the things that she's doing. But this is a revenge film. It feels like from Dar Ben's side and then from all the Marvel side, it's about them coming together as a team and working to defeat her uh, and what she's going after. So a lot of shades of Ronan, obviously, with uh, her using the hammer there uh, and her having that power and the purple energy. We know that in the Marvel Universe, purple symbolizes evil. Uh, the purple magic symbolizes evil. So um, that being a 
part of this as well. It's got a, a, a Nia DaCosta is the director of this one. I, you know, I enjoyed her Candyman uh, requel, reboot, whatever you want to say. I, I kind of like that or sequel maybe. But I, I enjoy her as a director. So I'm, I, I liked what we got in this trailer in terms of her eye and her vision and what she wants this to look like. It has the vibe of the Captain Marvel movie, but it's also kind of walking its own path in uh, its approach to the action. There's some humor here, some interactions with them. You know, it's really interesting. This is a kind of an all-woman film, except for Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, so I'm going to be very curious to see how people respond to it. But to me, it looks uh, pretty like a lot of fun and pretty cool uh, to see them all going at it and figuring out how to work together as a team. Certainly not an easy thing for sure. Well, what did you all think? Did you like the new visuals we got here, the new settings, the new uh, planets we got in this one, the back and forth? Did Zawe Ashton come off like an awesome uh, villain here in the Marvel? universe as Dara Ben. Did you like Sam Jackson? Did you like all this stuff uh, with the Flurkin? Did you enjoy that? And did you um, feel like this one's going to be actually a hit for Marvel? This one's actually going to be well received and that people are going to enjoy this movie. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comment section below. Hit a like on this video. Share it on your social media. And of course, more than anything else, please subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button so you see when we're dropping all the content we do here on the Outlaw Nation channel. All right, this one's coming out November 10th. Put it on your calendar. I like this trailer. I'm excited again a little bit. I know Secret Invasion isn't going so well, and we're I guess we're getting the this Nick Fury coming out of Secret Invasion. Uh, but maybe this is something that we can be more excited about than uh, than what's happening in Secret Invasion. Certainly Marvel could use a hit, so uh, we'll see. We'll see. But until then, uh, I'll talk to you next time with another brand new reaction video here on the Outlaw Nation. Take care, y'all.